guys, it's Hadley from Wiz Kids Science. Today we're going to be opening Groovy Lab in a box. Yahoo! Let's open it up. Let's see what's inside. We have two colored pieces of paper, parts of a circuit, a straw, and the instruction book. And also, we have a bag full of cool stuff. And inside, we have white Play-Doh, blue Play-Doh, red Play-Doh, a balloon, wires, batteries, a crayon, a glue stick, pepper, and three different colored lights. So today we're going to be building a circuit using Play-Doh. Our first step is to roll these Play-Dohs into balls. So you want to do the red one? I got the one. All of them? Yeah, just all of them. That's my ball. That makes purple. So our next step is to snap this cap onto the battery. And this is just going to electrify these wires. So now what we're going to do is, which color of light bulb would you like? Purple. I blue. On our light bulb, there's a long leg and a short leg. The short leg goes to the negative end and the long leg goes to the positive end. So our next step is to put our two wires into our Play-Doh balls. So the red wire, which is the positive side, is gonna go into our red ball. So do you wanna stick that into that ball? And I'm going to put the black wire into the blue Play-Doh ball, and this is the negative end. What's happening is this battery is giving off electricity and it's going to flow through this black wire and it's going into the play-doh and because the play-doh isn't touching it only has one path to go so it goes up this short leg into the light bulb it makes it glow and then it goes out the light bulb and goes through the red wire back into the battery so it just keeps going around in circles through the light bulb and that's how it lights up Hadley what do you think happens if we make the play-doh balls touch I don't know Let's find out. Try it. What happened? It turned off. Here, squish them together. So, our light turned off. Why did it do that? Because it, because the battery is still going through, but when it touches, it goes up. But when it tries going down, the electricity can't go through both balls. It's very close actually. So when the battery goes through this black wire, instead electricity always wants to take the easier path. So it goes through this blue ball and it's easier for the electricity to go right to the red play-doh instead of going through the light bulb and back down. So now the electricity is just going through these play-doh balls and it doesn't care about the light. It's like I don't want to light up that light. But if you separate them, then the easier path is to go up and through the light bulb. Let's just make some more Play-Doh balls and let's see if we can make all of the lights light up. Sounds good. Okay. Red end's gotta go here. Long, long end's gotta, gotta go, go here. Here. But you did all long right. end short end. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. <gasps> what happened? The light, all of the lights lighted up. So the battery is taking the negative and it's going up into the Play-Doh and it's going up the negative side, down the positive side. Up the negative, down the positive, up the negative, down the positive, and back around and it's going all the way through. And it's really fast, that's why you see the light what do you think would happen if you took out one of the light bulbs? It wouldn't work. 
You're right. Why do you think that is? Because the circuit, it goes through the battery here, but then it has nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. So if you took out any part of this circuit, it wouldn't work because the electricity can't get from here back to itself. A big thank you to Groovy Love in a Box for sending us this awesome kit and many more experiments to do as well. Uh, we love learning about circuits and it's really cool to always build your own and see how the different components react with one another. So, big thank you. You can get your own Groovy Lab in a Box delivered to your house along with a lot of other really fun experiments by going to GroovyLabInABox.com. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of our videos.